So in update, we're going to do player dot bullets. Um, if mouse is button pressed, mouse left, then we're going to shoot. Shooting uh, player bullets dot pushback and a bullet with a general bullet. Let's see if we can do this. Wait, uh, bullet texture. Let's see if this works. And then we'll just do a for loop. And say player dot bullets dot size. This is a really hobo solution to all this stuff, but not clean solution. Um, because you don't want to have these public, but still. For this reason, for this example, it should be fine. And then say window dot draw player bullets at position i dot shape so yeah let's see if this works <laughs> okay <laughs> that's great uh, that's 0 0.3 for ya let's do let's do 0. Point, where is it here we go Okay, let's do 0 0.1 here as well. And then we'll click our mouse button and hope for the best. Alright, that was a little better. That was a little better. Let's do 0 0.05. So it's pretty small. We want it pretty small. We don't want it that big. And just a little tiny whiny little thingy 0 0.7 even just a little bigger okay <clears throat> there we go and we're good so we want it to originate from the center we'll fix that later we'll have a update where um, bu bullets we'll go for player dot bullets dot size and we'll go through if player dot bullets at position i dot shape dot get get position dot x that's a bunch of dots is is greater than window dot get size dot x then we will player dot bullets dot erase player dot bullets dot begin plus i so that's going to be when they go out of the right of the screen uh, window or wait out of window bounds and then we're going to do enemy collision and then we're going to update enemy and then we're gonna update and we're gonna update player player there we go so if keyboard is key pressed keyboard W player that shape dot move let's move W moves up so we're just going to be able to move up and down, basically. Or no, no, you know what, we'll move everywhere. Player.move uh, 0. Uh, or no, wait, we're going to be... Yeah, it's going to move up. So 0f minus 10.f. Then we're going to have all kinds of good stuff in here. W, A is going to be minus 10 and then 0 s is going to be 10 and s d is going to 
B10. The positive. This is a movement for the player. And then we're going to check collision with window. And then we're going to check collision with enemies as well. Collision with window. Uh, let's see. Uh, so if player dot shape dot get position dot x is less than equal to zero player dot set shape dot set position let's do uh, zero and then we're gonna have to do this hassle thingies that y so this is to the left left of screen it's gonna set the position and then else if eh, there we go else if uh, player the caption x is larger or equal to window dot get size dot x this is just tedious then we'll have player that shape that set position window dot get size dot x plus player dot shape dot get size get global bound sorry dot width so we'll, we'll put it to the get size and then minus sorry minus so it can't go out the right of the screen and maybe we'll just copy paste this else if else if this is for the top this is for the bottom. Player to get position Y less than or equal to 10. Set play position 0. Dot F. We'll just remove this and then change this to X. And the same thing here. Y is greater than the Y size. Then player that set position window will just We'll just copy this, just paste that here. So get position dot x, and then window. Actually, we won't have else if because we could. The top and the left can be at the same time. Whatever. We'll just have it if. There we go, and then the bottom would be y y. Get size y minus player shape get height. Boom. So now we can't move our player out of the bounds. Okay, that's kind of weird. This is good. Okay, now I know what the problem is. Uh, we want to do this. We want to do this. We'll get this and we'll say window size y minus height plus minus width. Here we go. Now it should be good. All right. Boom, boom, boom. We're good. Now, collision for that is, is good and the bullets is good. What we're gonna do in bullet, we got a texture and we're gonna make a position. Position as well. And we're gonna do this shape that set position plus. Just like that. And that means that it will be created at the player's position. Um, player dot get shape dot get position just like that that means 
that when I'm moving around, it's going to create a bunch of... Oh, that's kind of cool, though. I like that. I like that. That is kind of nice. Way. All right. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. And uh, we're going to make a shooting timer. A shoot timer. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, here we go. Okay, int. Shoot timer equals 20. And uh, update bullets. Here we go. Let's do if shoot timer is less than 20. Shoot timer plus plus if. Um, there we go. And then where do we shoot? Actually, we'll keep this here. And then shoot timer is greater or equal to 20. Shoot timer equals 0. So we reset it. Reset timer. Uh, boom. Bullets. Now we're going to move the bullets as well. For player dot. Didn't I do this somewhere? It's right there. I can actually, I can, I can move it so we don't need another for loop. I'll just take this and put it, oh wait, put it here. Uh, player dot bullets at position I dot move dot shape dot move and then how fast are they going they're going 20f 0f so going to the right okay so they're moving to the right that's kind of cool all right so we can't move out of the screen, but can move around. Alright, that's cool. Uh, let's do 15. Or no, 20, 20. Uh, it's going to be a little tougher. 20 is good. Um, let's do this. Enemy collision. So, then we're going to have a for loop for enemies later. Enemies that size. We're going to have a enemies vector player in it. Let's just make an enemy vector now. STD vector enemy enemies. And then we're going to make a general enemy. But we don't need to actually. We don't need to. Because we have a class now. We have a class. So let's do this. Let's do int HP int HP max and uh, enemy at the position at texture first. Sure vector 2f position. Texture, then a enemy destructor, and then uh, this HP max equals random between plus one. Uh, so it's always going to be it's going to be one to three. And uh, this HP equals HP, HP max. Okay. This, and we're going to have shape as well. We're going to have a sprite. Shape. Shape that set texture. Texture that we send in. 
this shape dot set scale 0 0.2 0 0.2 f we'll start with that and then this shape dot set position plus okay so that's good that's good that is good